Today we're going to explain an experiment that claims to have reversed time with a quantum computer. But if you still haven't checked out my last video on the physics of entropy, make sure you check that out first because this video is going to include more advanced physics and I don't want you to become Nick Young. In Tenon, we have all sorts of inverted objects, be it bullets, cars, or even people. And because all matter is made up of particles, if we could first find the probability of an inverted particle, it would be easier for us to find the possibility of an inverted object. So in 2019, physicists from Russia, Switzerland, and the United States calculated the odds of a single electron being inverted and move in the direction of reverse entropy or reverse time. They then simulated the process on a quantum computer to find out the success rate. But how does an inverted electron work? What does it look like? Well, that will have to do with a concept called the wave function. In quantum mechanics, we are never sure about the position and velocity of a particle. Unlike a bullet that can be known precisely through the equations of motion, we can only use an equation called the Schrodinger's equation to outline the region where we may find the electron. We call this the wave function. Now, of course, the wave function has a lot more to it other than simply outlining the region. It also involves the probability of finding an electron at different positions within the region as well. But anyway, consider it only as the outline of the region for now. As time goes on, the wave function spread out over a larger area like ripples in water, and we become more and more uncertain about the position of the electron. This increases entropy as the system is now considered more chaotic. But as we mentioned in the last video, equations in physics are reversible. And in this case, the Schrodinger's equation can undergo a transformation where we reverse the spreading of the wave function and put the electron back to its original state. That is much like the police trying to reduce the search area and retrace the original position of the robber. Although an inverted electron cannot be observed in nature, researchers have found that it is theoretically possible due to random fluctuation in cosmic microwave background. But the odds aren't really in our favor. In fact, across the entire lifetime of the universe, the inversion of an electron would occur only once. And even when that happens, the electron could travel no more than a split second into the past. This explains why we never see an inverted electron in nature. But what if we simulate the process in an artificial setting, say, a quantum computer? Unlike a normal computer made up of bits, which can either be 0 or 1, a quantum computer uses qubits that can be both 0 and 1 at the same time. This may be a bit hard to imagine since it involves the concept of quantum superposition, but anyway consider a qubit as a switch for now. Only this time, it can be anywhere between on and off. To begin with, the researchers set two qubits as straightly zeros. That is the lowest entropy state because we are absolutely certain about the values of the qubits. But as time goes on, the qubits will evolve into a complex combination of zero and one, and we become more and more uncertain about their values. That is much like the spreading of the wave function that increases entropy. Now what the researchers was trying to do was to use a special computer program to reverse the qubits back to the original states, which were straightly zeros. Although you may think that it's hardly an experiment because everything's just on computer, just remember that qubits on a quantum computer are literally made up of particles, and the computer program is just nothing more than actual microwave pulses that simulate cosmic microwave background. So, how successful was the experiment? Well, when using two qubits, the researchers managed to reverse them back to the original state 85% of the time. But when they had to reverse three qubits, their success rate dropped to only 50%. Although the scientists did manage to reverse time by a millionth of a second, this experiment proved to us one thing, that reversing time or reversing entropy is hard enough for a single particle in an experiment not to mention octillions of particles in nature, which are essentially you and me. 